pledge allegiance to a nation that disregards our education and to the greed caused by capitalism. One nation, under fraud, leaving students here in Hampton Roads, unfed, unprepared, and miseducated, causing the downfall of future generations. I sit up tall. If my hand is not raised, then I shouldn't talk. Treat it like an inmate. Is this a classroom or a cage? I sit and ponder on the day that America will actually be great. This grading system makes me feel enslaved. Maths are not satisfied unless I'm branded with the letter A. Deaf ears to our reality do not deflect our cries. But yet Virginia school systems pour bleach on black history, making it lighter and lighter. Erasing our ancestors' narratives, replacing them with whitewashed heroes and heroines as if they were the only catalyst for change. As if we didn't have Barbara Rose Johns, who rose in VA as a student to protest against segregated schools. Katherine Johnson, who helped John Glenn into orbit, but I guess she's just another hidden figure. Calculated how to shoot for the stars while being told the sky was the limit. Irene Morgan, who did more than just sit, she spoke a decade prior to Miss Rosa Parks stood still in her seat and had bus segregation deemed unruly. Virginians, who spoke but not spoken to, protested with no violence, pursued in breaking silence. The 13th Amendment did not set us free. Schools feel like jails, placing limits on creativity, stripping us of our individuality. School is no longer a learning zone, getting violations for grades and a dress code. Out of school suspension feels more like kids on parole. Young men turn to the streets because school systems forget to nurture and teach. Misguided millennials making lemonade from tainted lemons you gave. When price comes into play, some families have to choose between vegetables or rent money. A school cafeteria may be a young person's only source of food. It makes your hunger, but cuisine rejuvenates the spirit, so why don't we feed them soul food? You act like you ain't never had the season and do the salsa on your taste buds. A wise man once said, you can lead a horse to water, but, but you cannot force it to drink. So it stands to reason. You can give a kid a preheated vegetable comparable to prison food, but you can't force them to eat it. Teach students they can survive off of more than hot Cheetos and dollar Arizonas. Teach them how to bear the fruits of nature that feed them on the inside and show them when you put love into the earth, your community reaps the blessing. And understand we are a new genre of generation. We determine the destination of our nation. We deserve to know our story, not his story. We look to pass history books as reference, but we still need resources to grow. Listen to our words because waters will not move without waves and our current depends on you. You decide where we wash up, whether that means landing and clearings or, or clutters of chaos. Young minds yearn for living waters. Guided rivers flow into oceans of opportunity. So yes, there is something in the water. It's us.